So there has been a bunch of 2K23 news in the last day or so and in this one we're going to be covering some bits you might have missed as well as a bit of a roundup and a catch up of some extra info from the 2K dev team. So let's kick this one off with MyGM. So we know via the official info that the mode has some improvements including more gems to pick from, additional show options and even the ability to do this with up to 4 players. The potentially bad news is that if you didn't know already, this has been confirmed by 2K to be local co-op only, so no actual online play. It was also confirmed by the devs that the brand new Wargames match will not be playable within this game mode. A little bit of info now for PC players, as whilst the game will release on PC, like last year of 2K22, the 2K23 PC version will be based on the last gen version and not new gen, although other than graphics, I'm not sure there is necessarily going to be much of a difference. But one big bit of good news from yesterday that has gone slightly under the radar is that confirmation that advanced entrances are back. These were missing from last year's game but are thankfully back for 2K23 which should give us a lot of really cool unique options for our entrances in this year's game. Another thing that you might have missed is confirmation of the inclusion of a new female ref. This was confirmed in the John Cena 2K Showcase trailer in this clip which does indeed show a female referee which of course will be a first in the series. And next up, a little bit of info on this year's Universe mode which points towards this year's version getting a fairly decent improvement with 2K stating the following. We have heard for years, Universe needs an update. One of the biggest things that we did when we finally took the game over, we reworked our story systems for My Rise. How we build My Rise and now even Showcase is built on one set of tools, Universe was completely different. It was still this very difficult system to work with and edit, it was just hard to add anything new because it was so fragile. So what we ended up doing was basically bring Universe over to the My Rise system but have the Universe engine power underneath it. It unlocks the potential of what our designers are able to create or the users who have access to it. So you can choose certain actions before the match, like oh I want these two superstars before the match starts to do a handshake. You can control what some of these actions are before the matches start during your card. So even though it's not entirely clear how this could work and what options we might have, it's at least a good indication that the mode has seen at least some changes and hopefully more info on that soon. And our final bit of news today is some new details on this year's brand new Wargames match. So along with the official info we covered yesterday, we have got even more details when it comes to it. So weapons are confirmed, so yes weapons will be involved in Wargames action with 2k stating the following. When new entrants come into the match, players are able to take control of a character on their way to the ring and pull weapons from underneath the ring and introduce them into the cage environment. It is said that these weapons include chairs, kendo sticks, stop signs, a baseball bat and tables which means tables for the first time will be involved in a steel cage type match. Also confirmed is the ability to do specific moves between the two cages such as throwing your opponent from one ring to the next or performing a springboard attack from one ring into another. We also have the ability to climb the cage and do attacks whilst on it. As always, stay tuned for more 2K23 coverage coming to the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.